So I've always been a fan of pickup trucks and uh, wow, this thing looks fantastic. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Blizzard Mountain DLC. Today we are gonna be behind the wheel of this Nissan Titan Warrior concept. So uh, this is easily the best Nissan Titan I've ever seen. That thing looks so aggressive. And uh, if I'm being honest, I kind of see, I see the F-150 Raptor in it, based on the styling here. Let me know what you guys see in there, but it, it looks a lot like the Raptor. I think it's it's kind of meant to be like the Raptor, like it's it's optimized for, you know, moving at high speeds off-road and, and being very off-road capable and, um, you know, everything that a pickup truck needs to be. So, uh, pretty cool car. I haven't really heard much about it. We don't know if this is actually going to end up in production. I don't think Nissan's made any announcements as to whether or not they're actually going to make it, but they unveiled it back in 2016, earlier this year. And um, I don't know. We might as well check it out. I think it's going to be the perfect truck for, uh, for this Blizzard Mountain DLC. So let's go ahead and hop into Forza Vista here and see what this thing's all about. I don't know, man. I really like it. It's very edgy, lots of harsh angles. I like the orange trim all the way around the outside of it and... Have that nice metallic silver looking color. Let's go ahead and explode it here. See what she's like inside. Take a quick look at the back seat. Nothing really too crazy going on back there, but if we hop into the driver's seat, let's see what we've got. Oh, the orange trim continues on to the inside. Wow, dude, that's pretty sexy. Even have a bunch of gauges up there on top of the dash. Whoa, what is that? Are those flashlights? Those look like flashlights. That's actually pretty sick. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and, uh, I mean, she's, she's bone stock. I don't know how much do we want to do to her. We'll do something to her. We want her to be, be nice and, and fast for us. So we're going to do some custom upgrades. I'll let you guys know we're done. We are about to turn this thing into a monster. Check this out. This front plate with the lights. We could also put the roof lights on there and check out this rear. Whoo! This thing is like an off-road rally looking truck dude i really like that i think that looks pretty good all right so let's go ahead and install this setup we just turned this thing from like a normal pickup truck to a ram runner this is going to be crazy Forty-seven thousand two hundred credits we're going to take it down by about two thousand pounds increase the horsepower significantly and take it from an 689b to an 864 s1 class this is extremely exciting let's see what this thing can do out in the snow since we're here in the final round of King of the Mountain, if you guys missed our last episode, we actually unlocked level, I think it's 10. Pretty much all of the events that we have left to do are at the top of this mountain. So we are just, dude, we are just going to go for it. I'm excited. Let's see what this thing can do. Off-road, baby. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to stick to the main road for now, but I don't think we're going to stick on it too long, to be honest. Yeah, let's just... Let's take this thing off-road and see what she can do. I think it's going to have a little bit more get-up than the Gurkha. Be able to tackle a little bit rougher terrains. Woo! Dude, this thing is sick. I would love to just go off-roading in a crazy truck like this. Jump, baby! Woo! Dude, we've got to take the Jeep off-road. We are 100% doing that sometime very, very soon. I want to make a series out of it. Go to a bunch of the different trails and stuff. Uh, I don't know, it'll be fun. They have a lot of events and, and all kinds of stuff, especially down here in Florida. The Jeep culture down here is super, super strong, so. Once, uh, once the holidays and stuff are over with, we're going to have a new year. We're going to come out with some new video series. It's going to be awesome. There'll be some good stuff for the vlog channel. Here we go, guys. Let's get it. Just making our way up the side of this mountain. No big deal. Dude, what in the world? Could this be a thumbnail right now? Let's go into photo mode and check this thing out. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Look at that. Would you just look at that, dude? I wish we had the peak. I, I wish there were more mountains back in the background, you know what I mean? Like we had some peaks and stuff to look at, but that's not too bad right there. That, my friends, is going to be the thumbnail. You guys saw here live in the video. Let's get it. All right. Anyway. Continue on to our destination. Normally, that would have taken us a very long time to get up here. Staying on the roads and such, but uh, it's not too hard in this big boy. Let's see what they've got. All right. Set up this event. It's a rush descent. 
finish the race, win the race, and get six pass skills in order to uh, complete it. Looks like this was meant for trucks, which is good. And uh, let's see what we can do. Six pass kills should be easy, right? Kind of means we're going to have to pass one at a time, though. If you pass in big groups, you get, like, one group pass skill. But I think we'll be okay. We can just slow it down and let people pass us and then pass them back if we have to. Let's see what she can do, baby. I'm excited. All right. Six pass skills. I think it's going to be one of the easier ones we've done recently. You know, one pass skill. How have we not... We just passed somebody and didn't get another one. We're passing tons of people. Two pass skills. We're already 15% of the way through the race. How do you get a pass skill? We passed like four people and we only got two for it. There's three. Eventually we're gonna have to let somebody pass us and then pass them back. Four. All right, we're gonna wait. We don't wanna make sure we get it. What the heck, bro? All right, pass me up, bro. Pass me up. Pass him again. That's five. All right, pass me up again, bro. <laughs> Whoa, where are you at? You're way behind us. Oh, shoot. Fucking God damn it. Let's see what she can do, boys. She looks the part. My goodness, I think this is a beautiful looking truck, man. All right, anyway, let's focus on these pass skills. We need six of them. And there are seven people in front of us, which is good. Eight now. Should help us out. We didn't get a pass skill for that? Okay, we just passed two people, got one skill. There's a second pass skill. We want to try to do a one by one. Just pass somebody, get behind the next guy, and then pass the next guy, and just slowly work at it. Don't do too many at a time. See what I mean? We just passed two guys there. We only got credit for one. Didn't get credit for that one either. What the heck, bro? What? I don't know what constitutes a pass in this game, man. That's a question for somebody who's not me. Typically when I think about passing, I think about doing that right there. Okay, we just passed two more people, didn't get it, so we're going to have to let this guy go in front of us. There we go. Two guys passed us. So let's pass this G. Give it some time so they're not a combo. Like, I don't want the game to think I passed two people at the same time. Should have given ample time there. That doesn't count as a pass! Does it have to be at speed, maybe? I don't know, we're 75% of the way through this race. I need to get this pass so I can actually try to win. Here we go. That has to be a pass. Challenge completed, let's go. Woo! All right, let's hop inside this thing for the last bit. Dude, this thing feels so good. It's super smooth, and this has the stock engine and everything in it. We didn't do too much to change it. We did throw some turbos in there, so obviously it's gonna be a little bit faster. But, um, man, that's awesome. It's not like we did an engine swap or anything else. Like it just, it feels really, really, really good. So, anyway, first challenge down, got three stars. I think we need, uh, we need like, Seven more to be able to complete this section? I think so. Got that. Fully completed it. We're about to become king of the mountain, man. What the heck? This is crazy. We still have a lot of stuff left to do, though. All right. So, um, we got that. What should we do next? I hate those races because you start at the top, you work your way down, and you have to drive back up to the top to get the other new stuff. Um... So mountain peak scramble here with the blizzard warning that we haven't done yet. I think that sounds like fun, so. You guys think we can get up this beast? Oh, no, we can't quite make it. <laughs> that was a, uh, 
a bit hopeful there. We might be able to get up this section though. When it is safe to do so. And the grade's a little bit easier over here. Nice! Dude, this thing is... This thing's solid. This thing's doing really, really well. Do we have that back window open? I think we... No, no, there's glass there. I was gonna say, not really a day to be rolling around with the windows down. Alright, we made it, boys. So, we're gonna be racing in this circuit race up here at the peak. We've got three laps. And our target for three stars is gonna be... Uh, show-off skills. So, a show-off skill is a drift... And a pass combined. So basically you have to come up behind somebody and be drifting past them for the pass. So I'm just I'm gonna start throwing throwing the back end out around corners. I don't know if we're necessarily gonna be going fast enough to be able to get this though, you know what I mean? I don't think it's a good challenge for this truck. I think if we're in one of the cars, we might be able to make it happen. But trying to drift in a truck is never a good idea. We just passed that Hummer, but I don't think there would have been a chance for us to get a drift skill there. Ooh, we might be able to right here. There's our first one. Nice. All right. So the first lap too, so we might actually be able to get this. That's that's good. Ooh, we hit ice there. I, this would have been the good section to do it too. We got a drift, but the pass wasn't close enough. Okay, we're gonna let this guy pass us again. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Oh my gosh. We got ultimate pass and drift right back to back, but it didn't it didn't count. Right, here we go. Blizzard coming in. Oh my gosh, that one didn't count either. I don't know what con honestly, I don't know what constitutes a pass. Like I don't know if you can't touch them during the pass. Drift. The pass, nothing happened there. We're gonna get this. Trust. Need a little bit more speed there. Right here. That didn't count as a pass, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, dude. All right, let him pass us. Let him pass, I really wanna get this. I didn't think we were gonna be able to get it in the trucks, so. I wanna get it. Left coming up here. Here we go. Ah! This section gets too slippery. It didn't count as a pass! Oh my gosh, dude! What in the world do you want me to do? I'm trying so hard to get this. It's not easy when you can't even see the corner that you're supposed to be drifting around. Okay, didn't quite get a pass around there. The corner was too tight. Here we go. Oh my gosh, we got E-Drift past E-Drift. The three things, or the two things we need back to back to back, but we didn't actually get one of them. All right, here we go. We've got to step up here. This is the final lap, boys. The thing is, we can't really draft him, because if we draft him, here it is, here it is. Yes, we got it. I was going to say, if we draft him and then pass him, it's going to count as a slingshot. It's not going to give us the, the show off. Woo. Right place, right time, great positioning. We got our challenge completed, and now the storm's clearing up. Things are looking up for us, boys. Now if we can just get that win, we're gonna be good to go. And we shouldn't have a problem here. Be nice and slow rolling all the way to the end. This section's kind of hard, to be honest. This would have been the best spot to get the pass with the drift, because you go so quickly. Oh, my nose itches. 
<sighs> nice. All right, guys. Well, second race in this thing was a great success. I'm actually really, really happy with it. This thing is performing swimmingly, outstandingly. I love it. All right, anyway. Let's go ahead and find a new race. I think there's another descent one up here towards the peak. And we'll see if we can get a, uh, a three star there as well. Look at the spawn, guys. We spawned out of the race after like the scoreboard and stuff. We drive forward 25 feet and we're into our next thing. So finish the race, win the race, and get 30 drift or e-drift skills. This one's gonna be tough. I mean, I, I think we're gonna give it a shot. I think this, if anything, is going to be a good vehicle to be able to actually complete the three stars here, though, because, I mean, we're, we're pretty head and shoulders above our competition, at least a lot of them, and so I think that's going to give us the freedom to be able to kind of ducktail a little bit, mess around, and try to make things happen. We're up to eight, up to nine, see what I mean? Oh man, we are just getting jiggy with it down the mountain, baby. Let's go! All right. Up to 12 already, 20% of the way through the race. And we're into third. Dude, this thing, we are juking right now. Woo! Straight twerking on these fools. Oh gosh. Oh, that was a way tighter turn than I thought it was gonna be. All right, we're in 19 out of 30. A third of the way through the race. Twenty-three out of thirty. I think we almost got twenty-four right there. All right. So this is honestly so. Oh, we just got three in that one, and a side swipe, and a drip tap, and an awesome drip. Slingshot. Oh, we are twenty-eight of thirty right now. We just need to focus on getting this win. We'll get the challenge naturally at this point, just from going around these snowy corners. That one didn't count as a drift. Shoot, 57%. It's making me a little bit nervous, because what if we don't? We will. That should be it right there. Oh gosh. All right, 65% of the way through. We got this, Trev. We just, we gotta focus up here. Yes. All right, we're in there. Challenge completed. We've got a quarter of the race left to pass a couple guys. Oh no. That guy just pushed me into the wall. Push his buddy into the wall. Let's go. Look at that Ram Runner back there. You wish you were a Toyota Titan Warrior concept. And now we have pretty much a straight here. Honestly? We were looking really good. We got most of them done within like the first 60% and the last couple took us a while. But uh, there we have it. First place, gonna knock out three more stars. And that should bring us within one star of being the king of the mountain. And I think, I think there's a bucket list thing up towards the top that we haven't done yet. So I think we're gonna check that out and see what happens. 99 out of 100 stars. All right, one more. And we will have completed the story section of this Blizzard Mountain DLC, but um, like I said, that's not where we're actually going to end. I thought, yes, a new bucket list challenge, I was going to say. This will be a fun one to end on. So, Blizzard bucket list number five. It's up here near the snow park. Ooh, it's going to be near all the jumps and stuff. What if it was a jumping one? That'd be pretty sick. I don't know. We're just we're going to go ahead and head up the mountain here, see what we can find. And I'll see you guys once we get there. Turn around. Yes, sir! Look at that right there. Killing it, boy! This got straight vertical. Yeah, this is right by the, the ski place. Alright. I don't even know what to expect here. I'm in it to win it with you guys. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Make the crowd go wild in the Ford Ranger T6. So we're sticking with, with trucks? This is a trophy truck, though. They're like a, a race truck uh, focus type thing. All right, our skills target is 20,000 skill points in two minutes and 25 seconds. Do you know how easy that's gonna be, dude? Look at that damage. Air wreckage. Nice. I'm gonna try to beat it in our first little uh, 
first little what's it called? Multiplier. Take some wreckage. Oh no! We didn't get it in the first multiplier. I thought we were gonna get more air than that right there, honestly. Woo! Ultimate air, kangaroo baby! Alright. Do a little 180, get some wreckage in there. Some more air. Yes. Great air. We get some kangaroos. Oh my god, we almost landed that, dude. That would have been so sick. Are you kidding me? There's no way. I don't even know what made us lose our uh, our multiplier there. Honestly, I thought we landed it. I thought it was going to end when we hit the trees. When it didn't land when I hit the trees, then I thought we were good to go, dude. 100%. Shoot. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be super, super easy. We're halfway there. We have a minute left. Should we just race the course? Some drift action there. Some destruction. Jump across. What happens when you just trip the course? Back up over here. Get some air. Nice. I'll take it. Oh my gosh. We couldn't keep it up. Dude, honestly, I thought this was going to be really, really easy because it was in the, the little jump park. But it's not. It's really not, which is interesting. We have 18 seconds. We have 17,000 points. I mean, honestly, there were a couple times where we, we wiped out that we would have actually got it. So let's go ahead and restart this event here and see if we can get it the second time. I thought that was going to be a no no problem, just like first first little run. If we would have landed that, that barrel roll through the trees and kept our skill chain, I think it would have been an easy first one. But obviously, it didn't work out. Let's go ahead and let's hop inside and see what it's like inside. Drifting there. Little air action, little destruction. Woo! Crash landings. Right. I don't even. I can, like. Usually, I can find a nice little line in my head where, like, I know what I want to do and just get some consistent air and action. But honestly, it's not really working here. I think destruction is going to be our best friend. Some air here. Air, drift, destruction. Like that. More wreckage, more air. More wreckage, great skill chain. Okay, now we're looking better. We just thought, we were on the track constantly and that was not the answer. The answer was getting off the beaten path. Some drift action. Got that. Sideswipe, wreckage. Oh, dude, we got it. 9,000 times three, 10,000 times three, we got it. Good stuff, boys. Call out a day, baby! Let's go! There it is. 42,876 points. And I can cross climb a mountain off mine, so everybody wins. Good stuff. So that's gonna make us king of the mountain. There we go. Let's find out what happens. I'm excited. Wonder if we're gonna get any sort of a special car or reward or anything like that. This is it, the Kingmaker, the race that decides who gets the crown. If history has taught us anything, it's that coming second in a race to be king usually doesn't end well. Go get him, boss. All right, guys. I hate to be a tease, but we're going to race the Kingmaker in the next episode. So we're going to take on the Kingmaker, and then we're going to start working our way towards unlocking all of the stars on the mountain to be able to get that special Ram Runner. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys there. Peace out.